Hey everybody, stick around because in this video we are diving deeper into my stash of vehicle everyday carry supplies. Thanks for clicking on this video. I really hope that you guys watched my last video about my everyday carry supplies that I keep in my everyday vehicle. This video will be a continuation of that as we dive into not the stuff that we keep in the nooks and crannies of the car, but the things that I keep in this black bag behind me that I call my drive out kit. Now there's hundreds of videos out there about bug out bags and get home bags and inch bags and things like that. But today we're talking about something that is often overlooked. What if you were stuck in your car? What if you found yourself in a scenario where you had to live out of your car for a couple of days or more? Would you be able to do that? Can you survive on more than just the random pieces of food that are stuck under the front seat of your car and a couple of half empty water bottles? When I started putting this kit together, I did so because I truly believe that the most likely scenario that I as a prepper am going to run into outside of a natural disaster where my home is involved is an incident where I am out on the road and I find myself stuck and unable to move any further. Maybe it's an accident where I or someone in my party has been injured and we can't just go for help. Maybe we're in a natural disaster and the roads around us are destroyed to the point we can't drive any further. Or maybe it's a weather event such as a flood or a snowstorm that has left us stranded. I don't know about you, but I don't want to have to live off of whatever I can scrounge up from under my car seats. So I've prepared for just such an event. So we're going to dive into this bag. We're going to see what all's in here. See what you think about the contents. As I open this bag up, do me a favor and go down there and click on the like button and like this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and check out our Amazon wish list. And if you're in a position to help out the channel, that is the absolute best way to do it. I know that there's going to be a lot of people that are going to look at this bag and they're going to say, why didn't you just get a backpack and do that? The reason is that, that this kit was not designed to be carried. This was not something that I went into thinking, oh, I'm going to strap this on my back and go. This is 100% in the event that I find myself stranded in my vehicle. And I don't necessarily just want to have to leave my vehicle for scavengers just because I'm unprepared to do anything else. So we're going to start digging in here and see what's in it. So I bought this particular bag because it's squared off. It sits flat in the car. It sits up against the wall. It's got molly webbing on the outside of it, and I don't have to worry about it rolling around too much. It's got a shoulder strap in the event that I do need to carry it somewhere. It's got a carry strap on top. You know, it's it's set up to be a modular system. I can add to it or take away from it as I see fit. So the first thing we're coming to is this pouch on the outside. We've got a little uh, apple cinnamon mini meal bar. These have a long shelf life and will stay good for a very long time. Behind that, I have an Osage River sling bag so in the event that i need to go and gather things or go maybe take a short little hike to go see if there is help available i can pack a few things in this and carry them out with me and that way i'm not having to take this whole bag with me everywhere i go then i have a pack of batteries and an old school gps navigator now i store the batteries out of the equipment so that they don't go bad but i did also keep the instruction book with it in the event that I've got to figure some things out. Now, this isn't something that has roadmaps on it. This is 100% based on your positioning. So if I do decide that I'm gonna go out and look for help, I can program a waypoint on here from where my car is. And that way, when I need to come back, I can find it. And I don't find myself even more lost and in a bigger disaster than before. And then the last thing down the bottom is there's a couple of little carabiners. Now, you'll see on the front that I've attached my old school military canteen. I personally believe that some kind of water carrier system is one of the top two items that you should always have in your possession, no matter where you are. Now, I'm not talking about sticking things in your pocket. I'm talking about putting things in your car, or putting things in a pack or whatever. A way to carry water could be the one thing that saves your life. Now, clipped on here, I have a small carabiner with a compass and a thermometer on it to let me know just how hot it's gotten. And in this pouch, I have a rain suit. I keep that kind of stuff on the outside pouch because I want it to be easy access. I don't want to have to go digging for it in the event that I need something like that. I've got a knit hat from Survival Boxes. Help keep warm. And that's everything that's in that side pocket. So let's open this thing up, see what's inside. All right, so, let's open the top, let's flip it open. We've got some things in the top here. In the very front, we have two different kinds of fire starting supplies and there's a spot for a couple of ink pens, pocket knives, things like that. Over here, I have a tactical spork. I have an InstaFire lighter. This is USB chargeable. There is a pocket chainsaw and a cup, a fold up cup. On the other side, some filter masks, a little bit of cordage and a couple of screw in tree hooks. 
So that's everything in the top. Now let's dive a little deeper. I have a pair of gloves, mitten gloves. I have this shirt. Now this was an interesting thing that I found on clearance at Bargain Hunt. Now this shirt, it's super lightweight. It's a very breathable fabric. And you can see that it's dark material, but it's a reflective dark material. So if I put this thing on at night, it's going to reflect any source of light, but it it's also rain resistant, so I can wear it to keep the rain off of me and to keep it a little warmer. So I have a knife. I have a small life straw bottle. This is actually one that's designed for kids, but it's just the right size if you don't have a lot of extra room in your gear. I mean, you can drink just as much water. You just have to fill it up a little more often. Next, I have a dry bag from Survival Boxes. My general purpose first aid kit. I'm not going to go through everything that's in that, but I did add a couple of things to it. Some citronella bracelets. There's a um, mirror fire starter. Magic towel. Some toothpaste and some other things in here. I have a tactical tomahawk from United Cutlery. It's a kind of a multi-tool weapon combination kind of thing. Got a wood gasifier stove. Some hot hands, a wire snare trap, mosquito head net. In my area, that thing right there will be a lifesaver. Some cans of Sterno, the obligatory emergency blanket, and a water bottle slash solar lantern. So I can set this out, let it charge up a little bit. It becomes a light, and I can also store water in it. That's everything in that side. All right, so in the back, I have a water treatment kit. This has various... Water treatment methods. It also has some of the little instant hand towels, can openers, and more of the citronella bracelets. I have a Sawyer Micro Squeeze, a Road Atlas, some more paracord, and now we're into the meat and potatoes. Literally, I have several bags of storable water that I put inside of a Ziploc bag in case one of them ruptures. I have several Backpacker's Pantry and Mountain House Meals. Enough to get me by for several days. And another bag of the same. And then down the bottom, I have a little solar and gyro charged flashlight. And hidden in this little pouch here, I have a frog gig. Don't like the idea of having to eat frogs, but you never know. So that is my drive out kit. I wanted to put that kit together to guarantee a certain level of comfort in the event that I find myself trapped and away from civilization for a short period of time. Now, those aren't luxury items, but I can guarantee you that if you're stuck in your car and you can't get to help for some reason, those mountain house meals, those are going to taste like gourmet cooking. Those other items that are in there are really going to come into play. And I can keep them all contained in that bag so that they're not being tossed around in the back of my car. They're not being exposed to sunlight. And they're there where I can find them when I need them. Now, you might think that stuff's going to take up a lot of space. It does take up a little bit. But to be honest with you, I find workarounds with that. If I'm traveling with the family, that kit goes with me. I just move it to the side as far as it'll go, pack all of our other stuff in there, and we're on the road. And I have the peace of mind of knowing that if something really bad happens, we're at least going to be okay for a few days. I'm sure some of you are going to think that it's a silly idea, but you know what? This makes me feel better. It makes me feel better knowing that I can take care of my family or I can take care of myself in the event of a small disaster. You're not going to hear any stories about me spending a week living out of my car having to eat Taco Bell packs that were under the seat. When they find me, I'm gonna be doing just fine. So is there anything that I need to add into my kit? Tell me about it in the comments down below. Is there anything that you saw in there that maybe I don't really need? Maybe you think it's redundant or something that I probably would never use? I'd love to hear your thoughts about it. If you haven't already watched the video where I show you the other stuff that I keep in my car, go down in the comments below. I'll have a link to that. You can go check it out. Then couple that with what's in this bag and then let me know what you think about the preps that I have for my car. So now it's time to cram all this stuff back in the bag and close up the car. Thanks for spending your time with me. You guys are awesome. And until the next time, prepare for the world that you live in, not the one you wish existed. We'll see you around.